boys and girls, it's Mrs. Urquidy. Today's math lesson is going to be about number lines and counting. I think you guys are going to do great. So first, let's talk about a number line. Let me make this a little bit bigger for us. All right, so a number line is a line of numbers in order at marked spots. We've probably seen these on our name tags before in our teacher's room. So we're very familiar to that. And of course, it goes from zero and it can go all the way till the end, the biggest number you can think of. Normally we just have zero through 20 in second grade on our number lines. And of course it goes up by ones. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Keep going, right? All we're doing is adding by one. And you can look at a number, let's pick 12. If I know number lines and I know my counting, I know one less is 11. I know one more is 13. You remember, probably remember last year, you can take hops on a number line, right? So if I say 11 plus three, I put my finger on 11 and I hop three times. One, two, three. And that's how I can get the answer. It helps us with addition, but it can also help us with subtraction. Let's say 16 minus two. My finger or my pencil on 16 and I take two hops. My answer is 14. Just like the number line, you know what's coming next because you guys know the pattern. It goes up by ones. 23, 24, 25, 26. And it just keeps going up. You might hear this word in math, ascending. That's from smallest to largest. Or descending largest to smallest. And of course, a hundred chart. We've seen these on our name tags and in our classrooms before too. They work pretty similar. Say I say 45. One less would be 44. One more would be 46. Two more would be 48. You just keep on hopping. We're going to do some activities about number lines now. So this one's called Report to Earth. Got a cute little astronaut. It says, type in the missing numbers to report back to Earth. So if you want to get a piece of paper out or a whiteboard, this would be a great thing to do with me. So my known number is 45. I need to know what comes right before it. So what's one less than 45? Do you know? Can you say it out loud? It is 44, very good boys and girls. We know this because we know four and five, right? 44, 45. All right, what's one less than 44? Or two less than 45, two hops away? That would be, do you know? Write down your answer. It is 43, nice job. And I can always check my work because if the counting makes sense, I did my job. 43, 44, 45. Now I'm going bigger. What comes after 45? 45, 46, good. And next would be 47. Awesome job. All right, let's look at another one. This one we have 86, that's our first spot. And I'm going for the next four numbers. So what would come after 86? If I was counting or using my number line or a 100 chart, if you have those around, get them out if you need a little bit of extra help. 86, 87, good, 88, 89, and 90. Awesome job. All right. Which one looks good to you? Ooh, how about this one? 55 and we have to go back four spaces, four hops, or count backwards four times. However you want to think about it. So 55, I'm going one less. Can you write down your answer? If you need a little bit more time, just pause the video. How about 54? Very good. What would be next? One less than 54 would be? Write your answer down. 53, awesome. Next number, 
I bet you're getting it. 52 and 51. Nice job. I'm going to double check my work. Does my counting make sense? 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. I say thumbs up. Let's try this one. Whoa, look at that big number. 185. Does it matter that it's a big number? Say no way. I know my counting. We're in second grade now. All right, I'm going to go bigger first, but you could go smaller. What's one more than 185? Why don't you pause the video if you need more time or write your answer down? One hundred and eighty-six. I bet you got it. What's one more than one hundred and eighty-six? We have one hundred and eighty-five, one hundred and eighty-six, one hundred and eighty-seven. Nice job. Now remember, I got to do my last two. Now I'm counting backwards or getting smaller. One hundred and eighty-four. Eighty-four. Very good. And one less would be 183. Nice job. I'm going to double check my work. 183, 184, 185, 186, 187. Nice job. How about, ooh, I see another big number. We're starting at 203. What would be the next four biggest numbers? I'm actually going to pause and give you time to figure out all four. So get a scrap piece of paper out or your whiteboard and see if you can draw the number line real quick and write the next four numbers. Remember, you're counting up. Good luck. Let's see how you did. If you need more time, just pause the video. 203, 204, 205, 206, 207. Wonderful job. Let's see if my counting makes sense. 203, 204, 205, 206, 207. Wonderful job. If that was a little tricky for you, keep practicing. Let's do, ooh, look at this huge one, 736. I think that's the biggest number yet. So we have to do the two next smallers, so counting backwards, and the two biggest, the next two biggest numbers, so counting forwards. So let's do the same thing. Get your piece of paper or your whiteboard out and try to do this by yourself. Good luck. I know you're going to do great. Don't forget to check your work too. If you need more time, just pause the video. Let's see. One less than 736 would be 735. One less than 735 would be 734. Did you do good? Oh, keep going. One more than 736 would be 737. And one more than that would be 738. 
Good job, boys and girls. If you got them all correct, give yourself a pat on the back. If you missed a couple, that's awesome. I mean, that's not, <laughs> I'm sorry. If you missed a couple, that's okay. We're getting used to math again, right? If you did miss a couple, maybe look at what did you miss? Did you just make a little mistake or did you forget to count forwards or backwards? But we'll keep practicing. This next one is called Charts in Chunks. This one's really cute. All right, so we have, this is the 100 chart activity. So just like before, we know number lines and we know 100 charts really well because it's just counting by one. So this is just a piece of a 100 chart. And there are some cookies that are covering up the numbers. But I bet you can figure out what's the missing number because you're such great counters. So what would be one less than 29? If you want, and if you have a 100 chart, it would be great to get that out. It'll definitely help you if you need it. Let's see. One less would be, can you say your answer? It would be 28. Nice job. All right. Now I'm down a row. Don't forget, remember, 100 charts go by 10. So now we're doing 38. Something 40. So what number is between 38 and 40? 39. Good job, boys and girls. And the next row. Now we're in the 40s, right? We're 100 charts. 10, 20, 30, 40. What's one less than 49? 48. Wonderful job. Awesome. So let's look at this. We have 28, 29, 30, 38, 39, 40, 48, 49, 50. We did awesome. Do you see the patterns? If you look at 100 charts, you have the 20s row, the 30s row, right? And then this way, they are the ones place stay the same. So 28, 38, 48. All right, let's try the next one. All right. So I'm finding 45 on my 100 chart, if you're using it. If not, you're using your head, so you need to think what's the next biggest number than 45. It would be 46. Great job. One more than 46 would be, say it if you know it, 47. And one, oh, this row's complete, so we gotta go to the bottom. 65, a missing number, 67. So what's right between those two? What's one more than 65? It would be 66. Great job. Let's see, how about, ooh, a big one. All right, boys and girls, I'm gonna let you figure out the missing numbers, okay? So write them down on a piece of paper or whiteboard and then we'll check our work together. I'm gonna give you a couple minutes, okay? Remember, look at the missing number. 99, what comes next? All right, boys and girls, let's see how we did. One more than 99 would be 100, very good. And then we have 111 and I need to know what's one less. 
that would be 110. And one less than 110 would be 109. That was a little bit tricky, huh? How'd you do? Hopefully awesome. All right, let's do one more by ourselves and then we'll take a break. Same thing, boys and girls. Try to figure out the missing numbers where the cookies are. You can use your 100 chart. You can use your brain, you can count up, you can count down, whatever strategy works for you. All right, boys and girls, if you need more time, no problem, just pause the video, okay? We have 205, 206, the answer is 207, how'd you do? Good job. All right, the middle cookie, I have 215, hmm, 217. I know this one, it would be 216. How'd you do? All right, last one, fingers crossed. We have 227, 226, 225. Nice job. Wonderful, boys and girls. How'd you do? That one was tricky, too. Remember, even though the numbers are getting bigger, we still know the patterns, right? It just goes up by one or goes down by one. And especially with the 100 charts, you can use that pattern, right? Look at all these numbers. All of them have fives in the ones place. All of these have six in the ones place. All of these have sevens in the one place. So say for some reason I thought this one was 226. That wouldn't make sense, right? I don't go 225, 226, and 226 again, right? No. So you can always double check your work by counting. Awesome job today on today's awesome job today on today's lesson boys and girls. I wish I could see you today and I miss you a bunch. All right, let's do some more practice. Bye guys.